I'm going to take you through all the requirements for preliminary grade technical work for viola. Let's start with the D major scale. The first one is separate whole bows and the tempo is at 100. So let's put the metronome on. And here's 100. And remember to use fourth finger going up and open string on the way down. One, two, ready, go. The next bowing is slurred, um, which I like to call legato because it's nice and smooth, at tempo 72. So let's move the metronome down to 72. That's what it sounds like. One, two, ready, go. And the next one is detache, middle of the bow, eight semiquavers per note. So four semiquavers fit into a beat, and we've got um, we've got two beats worth of notes. So it's going to be eight semiquavers. Sounds like this. So here we go, eight semiquavers per note. One, two, ready, go. Let's play the arpeggio at tempo 60. So a little bit slower. Ready, play. And there's D major. Let's move on to G major. Back to 100. <clears throat> Back to 100 for our separate bows on G major, starting open G. One, two, ready, go. So I hope you were using whole bows, just like I was. Moving the metronome down to 72 for our legato slurs. Here we go, G major. One, two, ready, go. And now we have detache semiquavers. One, two, ready, go. Arpeggio for G major at 60. One, two, ready, G. And now let's go on to C major. C major, the C um, that we're going to start on is third finger on the G string. So let's start tempo 100. And this guy's a little bit different because it starts on third finger and we have low second finger. 
on the D and the A string. So get your third finger ready. Back to the minims. One, two, ready, go. Did you get your fourth finger up high and your second finger down low? Let's move to uh, slurs. 72 tempo. One, two, ready, go. Let's play the detache eight semiquavers per note. One, two, one, two, three, go. Arpeggio back to 60. That's a little bit slower. One, two, ready, play. All right, so let's move on to the exercises. Um, only got a few exercises for preliminary grade. Viola, so that's good. Exercise P1 is left hand plucking. We know it's the left hand because there's a little plus sign above the notes. It says, encourage freedom of movement in the left arm. So when you're on the A string, your elbow should push out to the left. And when it's moving across, your elbow should move to the right, a little bit like a, a rudder on a boat or something like that. So, uh, and it also says use the right hand to stabilize the instrument. So you can put your bow down for this one. So you can hold your instrument like that if you want to. And uh, so here we go. So the tempo is 60. And let's see what that sounds like. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna play it at 60. If um, you're not up to 60 yet, you can just watch. Um, if you play it at 50, that's, that should be okay but I'm going to do it at 60, which is the, um, the recommended tempo for the grade. One, two, ready, go. Swing your arm, down to C string, back up to A string. important to not take your hand down until you've counted all those rests there in the last bar. That will indicate to the examiner that you understand that these are rests and uh, they're just as important as the notes themselves. The next one, P2 string crossing. So pick up your bow again for this one. We're going to do, uh, it's a little bit of string crossing and also um, basic double stops. Just playing, playing two strings together is what that means. Follow the curve of the bridge with the bow and play as smoothly as possible. So you can see here, the bridge, the bridge is, is, is very round and that's how we want the bow to move across the strings. We don't want it to be um, this and this and this for each string. We want it to be nice and smooth like an arc. So the tempo is 90. Uh, Alright, I'm going to play a little bit slower. Let's say 70. I'm going to play it at 70. One, two, ready, go.
All right, so the trick for this one in string crossing is once you once your bow reaches the next string, don't rest on that string, always keep it moving. Always think of it like a Rolex uh, watch, or a Rolex clock. If you ever see one, you'll see that the second hand doesn't tick to each second, it actually glides, it always glides around, it doesn't actually ever stop. So it's a little bit like your bow. When you're, when you're moving to the next string, when you're playing the A string, you're always moving to the next one. Not like this. But smoother. So that one does require a fair bit of work to get that one nice and smooth. Let's have a look at P3. The tempo is 104. Uh, let's make it a little bit slower because um, just so we get it right. It's the last exercise. And it's simply just playing across all the strings, um, all the fingers across all the different strings. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Think of that as a little piece and um, practice one bar at a time for that one. So that's it for the technical work. Um, you've also got your three pieces um, which you should prepare for your exam and also general knowledge. So you'll need to know things like um, what's 4-4, what's arco, what's pits or pizzicato, forte, piano, um, the dynamics, those sorts of things. So. Um, but it's fairly fairly basic for preliminary grades, so it's not much to worry about. So um, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And um, if, you, if you've got any suggestions for me to uh, record videos to help you with, with what you're learning, um, again, just leave a comment and um, I'll, be, I'll be happy to consider um, any suggestions.